Girl, why is this decor all over the place? If you stand up, you in my video. So, I mean, if you want to be a part of my video, you can. Do not, this ponytail, do not hold me accountable for these decor aspects. what's up y'all welcome back to another vlog if you new here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber hey if you haven't caught up on my videos i only have a few so i suggest you get caught up now i will begin to start uploading every week once we get into our brand new new build semi construction home so i highly recommend that this is the time that you get caught up see what's going on see what See what we're going through and what the process is so we're super excited about this journey and we hope that you come along with us so in this video today usually i start this video out in the car i don't know why but i've been semi like i've been going through some minor health issues but they were for the best so i'm just recovering so we did not get a video this wednesday this will be posted today actually friday so I hope you enjoy. You guys will be able to see how I recreated and staged my home office of where I was working at in our den area. You guys will also see what we have so far in our pod and what we did with the boys room and how we're gonna continue to continue to stage our home so that we can get prepared to sell it and put it on the market. And what else did we do in this video today? Oh, I did a back to school haul. So my children start school at the end of the month. So we are just preparing because we are gonna be in a weird, crazy, busy time of our life come August, I mean, come end of August, September, maybe October time. So I just wanna make sure that the kids are organized and well prepped and they still have their back to school outfits. So we are prepping for our pre drywall meeting, which will be our next video. That was supposed to be this video, but we end up getting canceled. I mean, we end up having to get that rescheduled. So with that being said, you guys get some more current home updates versus the new home update. So um, I hope again, like I keep on saying this, I'm super excited. I'm super, I'm super excited about this journey. I'm super excited to bring you guys along. I'm ready and anxious to start decorating so you guys can really see where I'm gonna go and what our vision is with the new home. Because in my last video, if you did not watch, I did give that disclaimer that this current home that you guys see and why the decor is like, girl, why is this decor all over the place? It's because this was my husband's home before he met me or before me and him started dating. And um, so you get a lot of men, men vibes and I really, only like added touches of like this kind of type of flowers or vases or anything like that like a girl's touch to the home to show that i am present here however i didn't really fully go full vamp of decorating like i wanted to so i am given the opportunity to do that in our new home so i'm super excited about that so again disclaimer do not this ponytail do not <laughs> do not hold me accountable for these decor aspects that you are going to see in this current home i am just taking my current home and i'm flipping it and i'm staging it with decor that i already have i'm not buying nothing else for this house so 
I hope you enjoy. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you like this video. Comment below. I love engaging and talking back to individuals that's going through the same process or just love to watch home decor, clean with me, whatever lifestyle type of videos. Comment below so that we can connect. If you are a returning watcher and you have not subscribed, do that as well. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Y'all like my intro? It was cute, wasn't it? I'm about to get, I'm about to come correct with this editing game, okay? Turn it what the fuck All right, y'all. So like I said, I was able to clear out the boys' room and pretty much prep them for, um, for pictures for us to sell this home. So I am gonna give you a full tour and as you can see, these are the beds. They were initially bunk beds, like you can see right here. They were initially bunk beds and they, the bunk beds was up against this wall. But again, Jordan wanted his own bed, so we took them down. Um, so when you walk in, I kind of have their laundry basket that they're clean socks. I am I left this here because I am trying to teach them how to put their own clothes away. So that is something they have to do. Um, over here to our left is these little cubbies that I got from Target. Um, initially, we had two of these in here, one of them each. Um, again, we downsized so that the room can look spacious for when people tour. And they have their Marvel painting or picture on the wall because their room was marble thing. And you know what? Disclaimer. So I said that it was two of these, right? So I had one for each, but I had five of these baskets in here. And for each day of the week, I will put their shirt, their underwear, their pants, their socks, um, and an undershirt. And we will do that every, um, Sunday night. And so they'll know we don't have to worry about what they're wearing every day of the week. They would just go in their drawer, pull out Monday's clothes, Tuesday's clothes. So that was our organization for them. Um, sometimes we did it, sometimes we did it. Um, but that is what we're gonna continue to do at the new house. And I can kind of show you guys once school start, how we would do it. Actually, I'm kind of sad that I did take the other one away because it was on this wall. And I should have probably kept it here with the bins since we will be starting school in this house and that will keep them organized and easy for me. So I might bring that other one back in here just so they can have it. Um, we put some Marvel sticker decals over here. And as you can see, they have another Marvel um, picture up there. So we kind of have fun decorating this wall together. And we have the industrial K and J for um, Karim. So this is his side. Um, he leaves his pajamas on here. I've always told him to leave the pajamas on the bed so they won't continue to use multiple pajamas. So this is Karim's side of the room. Um, here we have, so Marcellus is gonna put the doors back on this closet. Um, however, I, we took them off because it was just too much to keep opening them up with their beds and the way the room is just set up in general. So over here, because if you notice, we don't have a dresser in our room. <laughs> so I had to make use of their closet. And so it looks empty because I gave away a lot of clothes. I gave away a lot of clothes. So in these bins, we have our underwear, socks, and pajamas. And here we have our play shorts because the boys love basketball shorts. So this is where all of their basketball shorts and anything their loungewear um, bottom wise is in there along with um, their swim trunks. And they and these two bins are our play shirts. So usually this row right here is what they use while we're home or they're just chilling and not using any of their good clothes. All of their play clothes is in there. So that's their go-to. The next row is white tees. We love white tees. I love white tees for little boys. <laughs> but as you can see, um, we, you'll see in the next clip of the back to school haul, t-shirt haul that I did from Children's Place. So these are all of their new long sleeve. I mean, 
I didn't get a lot of long sleeves, but this is long sleeve and it's a short sleeve. I think this is some carryover from long sleeve. So these are all their new short sleeve graphic tees that we bought up here. Again, it's usually full, um, but we give away a lot of stuff. This is their jeans side. This is usually, usually their jeans and their sweatpants. So either or, they barely wear jeans. Barely, I mentioned that in the clip as well, but these are their shorts um, for the summer. So their sweatpants is up there. So this is kind of their hub of clothes. And then on this side of the closet, we have all of their like hoodies. Like they are hoodie kids, like hoodie kids with the matching jogging set. Like all of these are their jogging sets, um, their polos, their jerseys their shirts, their good shirts, like all of their hoodies and coats and stuff that they basically essentially wear is hung up here. So this is where they hang up all their stuff that either can't fit over here or I don't want folded up. So that's where all of that goes. And then up here, you can see that I have, these are the bins that I did the Monday through Friday clothing with the boys. So it's probably knickknack stuff, just miscellaneous, thing, miscellaneous things that I just throw in there to hide um, to give it that aesthetically pleasing look with the gray and white. So overall, this is their closet and I try my best to keep it as, <laughs> this is not, it doesn't always look like this. This is just for this video. Cause the boys, I'm trying to teach them how to keep this clean. So. That is the boys room. I'm gonna give you guys an overview of it again. Ancient Mama scarf again still. So, I am doing a haul that I purchased, cause you know it's back to school season. I got 23 items for a hundred bucks. So I like children's place strictly for the boy. Well, when Jade was in this size, I love children's place for her as well because Strictly for the graphic tees. I did get some items that I do want to try out for the boys just because I am not a fan of Children's Place jeans for boys. I don't like them, so whatever. So Children's Place had their uh, shirts for $5. These tees, I mean like $5 you cannot be for boys. A lot of the basketball and gamer type shirts I got for Jordan. Break was too long, said no kid ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. And when we moved to the new house, I gave up the spare bedroom for him to have his own office and I should have never did that. Cause I need my own space to record. This one was a long sleeve shirt. But I'm like, fall is coming. This would be good for um, a light jacket. So I did do um, some of these shirts I will keep out for when we move because y'all know how it is when you move, everything is packed up. So I wanna have at least, I know it may not take two weeks to unpack clothes, but I at least wanna have two weeks worth of clothes packed up so that it's available for them to pull out and still go to school in chaos. 
when we in the middle of chaos. So I love these different sayings on the shirt. I said that I'm Jordan really wants to step his sneaker game up. Cause he be watching Marcellus clean his shoes. So Jordan be trying to clean his shoes now. So um <laughs> I do love Levi's for the boys, but they have not worn jeans. They hate Ooh, they hate wearing jeans. Um, uh, they hate wearing jeans. So they they wore sweats all last school year. Sweats, and then when it was time for short season, they wore shorts. But then they wore shorts with the sweat sweat material. Like this one's so cute. Stick with me, bro. I got Corona Gamer one love the colors on this and i got shirts like this too with that you see that pink in there and that this like uh teal because they like those crazy looking nikes like lebron's and all that crazy gym shoes and they be having colors like this in the gym shoes so when they get them they'll have some shirts to wear with them karimas and dinosaurs too so a lot of the dinosaur shirts nowadays look so cheesy to me but children's place be having the sweet dinosaur ones. Like I think this is really, I like it. It doesn't look cheesy to me. Um, again, those colors that they like in their gym shoes is in the shirts. So those are probably gonna be packed up for the first two weeks of school so that they can have. Now I did get some jeans from children's place. There's a hit and miss with Children's Place jeans. I don't like how they fit. I am a fan of Target. Oh, my battery's about to die. I am a fan of Target jeans. I live by Target. Or I'll do um, True Religion is a great fit for boys. And they're not as expensive as they were when we were growing up. And Levi's and True Religion are the main ones. And Cat and Jack. But then I do find like off-brand like I mean, not off brand, but like seven jeans or the Levi's or the True Religions at like TJ Maxx. Very reasonable price for them. But I am going to try Children's Place. They are into the skinny fit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try that. But to me, they like, I don't know, maybe it's the quality in them that I just can't get with compared to like Target quality and Levi and True Religion quality, but we're gonna test it out. Um, both of the boys are in size 12, and I do love that they have this part in the waist to tighten up, to tighten it around the waist because Jordan is not this wide, but he is this length. So we in that weird stage where he's this length, but he's not this wide. So I do strip, like pull this to make it be able to fit on. So. I kind of got, I got them one pair each just to see how they do. I got this kind of gray washed and then I got a denim, a, a regular denim. And this one is, they're both skinny. This one, this one is skinny. The other one is super skinny. So we'll see. We'll see how these last. Again, this is how the denim looks. I kind of like that die fade away fade out on it kind of nice so i will follow up with those reviews
right you guys so you see me and myself has kind of transformed this space into my office area and went from it being like the den area where the kids play their video games to a home office essentially so that the buyers can see what they can do with this space i am super excited about this i kind of just threw my desk together i guess <laughs> the cords are all over the place um when i get my office at the new house i'm going to try to hide as much as i can but you can see here i got my ipad and my laptop um kind of my personal use of when i'm done with work i have it right here i keep all of like the mouse and my hard drives and everything in that little bin um this is kind of like my workspace i am in the it field so this is kind of what an IT girl desk look like. <laughs> but I kind of got my calendar, my books. I kept my shelving unit over here. I got this from Target maybe about six months ago. And I got it from the kids section, actually. Um, but I do love this fireplace. As you can see, we have the cathedral ceiling. The fireplace goes all the way up. But it just gives it that warm vibe that can really be an office for real for real so i really enjoy staging this i hope the buyers love what i did and how i made it my very own home office um behind those curtains is the patio so you can reach the deck from that way so it, this is definitely a good space where you can go out to the patio but also enjoy it being a office this is the end of the vlog as you can see we have made very good progress of packing up this pod and until the next time i'll see you guys in the next vlog we will be moving soon and i'm so excited and check us out make sure you follow us on make sure you follow us on instagram at avnwts and our couples page smiths 2.0 and don't forget to hit that subscribe button thanks for watching